What's up, everybody? Coach Brian here. How are you? I'm here with Coach Ray. He'll be leading the workout today on this beautiful Wednesday. It is Tabata Wednesday. Tabata, named after Dr. Tabata. So we're going to do six exercises. Number one is going to be a sandbag squat. Ray's doing a, um, it's a side squat. Ray is doing it with a band around the ankles. You do not have to have a band. You do not have to have a weight. But if you have one, it will make it harder, okay? I do love the bands, though. So side squat, number one. Dive bomber, push-up, number two. So right now, think about the equipment that you need for these movement patterns if you want to add additional load. All right, dive bomber, push-up is on the tippy toes, kind of in a downward dog position. Inhale up. Exhale, come back, scoop the same way. So it's a, a, a scoop up and a scoop back. To make it easier, just go uh, scoop up and then go straight back into like a yoga push up or on the knees, okay? Or you can elevate your hands on that couch that Ray has. Not if you can't elevate your hands on his couch, but that would be weird. But um, you know what I mean. All right, next, number three, we're gonna do a jump rope. If you have a jump rope, grab it, but again, you don't need to. The, the bear hug squat. The bear hug squat. Oh, yeah, sorry. Bear hug squat. Okay. Squat number three. So notice, so this is called a staggered stance bear hug squat. Okay? All right. So staggered stance is an offset position with your feet. Let's try to get your heel as high as you can on your backwards foot. So you're just on your tippy toes, and that's going to allow you to go much deeper. So let's try to go as deep as you can, keeping your shoulders squeezed. Number four is the jump rope. Keep moving, guys, if you're not. Keep moving if you're not. All right, jump rope. Any variation you like. Let's get the heart rates up on those. All right, next, dumbbell, kettlebell. I'm sorry, dumbbell or kettlebell, renegade row. So push-up position, belly drawn in. Got to keep the belly in, and we're going to row, okay? That's all we're going to do. Three sets on each side for 20 seconds each. You want to make it easier, go on your knees or elevate your hands again on that couch or whatever you got. Finally, uh, we have the uh, chair or stool sprinter step ups. This is number six. This is going to drive your heart rate up. So let's get Ray can't put his whole foot on the step. Or maybe he can a little bit, but you actually want to have your heel on the step as well. You want to drive up and don't let the heel touch just the toes on the back leg. Really squeeze right at the top. So just come down slowly right there, explode up, inhale down, explode up. Think sprinter explosion. And then finally, we'll finish with a, a finisher where I want you to give me all you got. All you got, that's gonna be our main cardio portion. Uh, you're not gonna get your heart rate up on like a dive bomb or push up, but you know you will on that final exercise. So let's go. Let's do it, my friends. Come on down to the ground. Let's get these wrists warmed up first. Thanks for being here today making time for you. All right, wide fingers working around the wrist, nice. Out through the mouth. We're other direction here. Let's go hands out to the sides here. Again, part of this warm up is just kind of checking in with your body, seeing what hurts, seeing what feels good. Good time to get in tune with you. One hand forward, one hand back. Good. Switch. And let's flip the hands over here, flip them over. Good, let's go knees wide. Hips, sit the hips back. Let's take the palms, drive them into the ground, just waking up those lats, maybe even go side to side a little bit. But working to get those hips to the feet, to the heels. Good. Let's drive hips forward, hips back. Drawing the belly button in the whole time here. Breathe in on the way back, out on the way forward. Let's go left leg out, toes forward, not to the side, toes forward. Hips forward, hips back. Good, and then let's come up into a static stretch. Just reach. And then let's get a little window show wiper action going here. 
Again, we have Tabata today, six exercises, switch legs. We'll be doing six rounds of each exercise. When we're done with an exercise, we don't have to see it again. Hips forward, hips back. Hey, let's think of one distraction, something that's been on your mind of lately. Let's pull out the mental filing cabinet, pull out that manila folder with distractions on it. Let's put that away for a bit. Reach for the toes, good static stretch. The biggest thing is when I started working with Brian, I'd have these people say, man, I, I really got into it in those last five minutes. It's really good. I said, well, what happened to the first 40 minutes? And there was distractions. And so part of this warm up is clearing the mind. It's a mental warm up too. Uh, right leg forward for a pigeon pose. We're gonna start just tall right now. Pigeon pose so from the side. So you, know, you can be here present physically, but mentally you could be somewhere else. So just making sure that when you're present, be here. There's a great quote by one of my uh, former mentors, Ken Revisa. Be where you need to be, when you need to be there, be here now. Switch legs. Be where you need to be when you need to be there. Be here now. Good. Okay, we kind of went over the dive bomb or push up already. So let's practice a couple of those for just from the knees, just to warm up those triceps, even if we just come straight back up. So let's work on driving under, come back up. Should feel that in the tricep. Two more. Take the hips with you at the bottom. Take a moment, get some tricep work here. Good. Switch. Good. Come to the feet. Let's work ankles. Ankles, just warming those up. Heel to toe, heel to toe. We can still get some wrist circles in there. Good. Hands on the knees. Waking those up other direction. Excellent. Then let's go to a squat, just knees, just outside shoulder width, slightly duck footed, tap, tap in the ground, just drive up, squeeze the glutes at the top, keep going there, breathe in, breathe out, hips go back. If you can't touch the ground, that's okay. Go to where your back starts to unarches. Keep the back arched as long as possible. Drive up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Excellent, let's go for a diagonal. Good, follow the hands with the eyes. In that good rotation. In case you're going golfing today, it's a good stretch. Good rotation. Good, hands on the hips. Get a couple, just soft knees, so locked out, soften them. Let's go. Hinging forward, squeeze at the top. Hinge forward, eyes forward. Sorry, hinge back. Good, right there. Okay, let's go. Arm circles, thumbs down. Good. And thumbs up, other direction. Good, just opening up the shoulders. Come across the body. Good. Shoulder shrug. Shoulder shrugs. Good. And then finally, just some nice neck circles. Hey, check in with you. What's your why today? Why are you here? Why did you take time to put everything else off and put you first? Keep that why right here today as we go through these, okay? Hey, we're just about ready. So the first exercise, as we went over before, is gonna be a side-stepping squat. So I'm gonna have a weight, I'm gonna hold it across the chest, I'm gonna put my band on, step out, deep squat, getting low, explode back up, switch, okay? It's gonna be alternating, but we're starting, always starting here. When we get here, let's tighten the glutes. I'm gonna put my mat away for this round. Are you ready, my friends? I know you're all on mute, but I know you're yelling in enthusiasm right now. Especially John and Rob and Sarah. I'm gonna put this band on. If you have a band, great. If not, that's okay. 
with the band, it just makes everything a little bit more intense. All right, my friends. Five seconds till go time. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three, two, one. Weight across the chest. Here we go. Deep squat. Come back up. Really sitting hips back. And really got to push out on the knees, especially if you have a band. The band's going to want you to bring those knees together. Good. Three, two. And relax, good, keep the feet moving here. Keep the feet moving. We got five more rounds of that, no big deal, right? Three, two, one, here we go. Those 20 seconds that we are on, we are going for it. We're getting depth as much as possible. We're getting speed, a good rhythm. And really enjoy that 10 second break. Remember at the top, we're really squeezing the glutes. Show from the side here. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Keep it going, my friends. Let me come check out some form real quick. Three, two, one. Bring that up to the chest. Stepping out. Good. Good, Terry. Straight down, straight up on that once we step out. Yes. Watch out getting deep. Good morning, Joni. That's what I'm talking about. Looks fantastic. Way to get deep. There you go, Rob. Good to see you, Rob. All right, we're on a little breather here. Coming back to it. Here comes round four. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Deep squat. And if you have that band really pushing out, emphasize pushing out on the knees. If you're not feeling it in the glutes, when you take your hips back, if you're feeling it in the knees, you really gotta take your hips back like someone's pulling you back, okay? Three. Two, and relax, keep the feet moving. One more round, oh no, we have two more rounds. That was round four, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go for it. Squeeze at the top, all right. Waking up the body here. Good. A couple of fires stoking on that heart rate monitor screen. Again, just the ability Get the body loose and warm right now. That heart rate monitor is gonna uh, fluctuate depending on our exercise. Upper body is not gonna get very high. This one right now, we have a chance on this next round to get things a little bit higher. See those fires are starting to stoke. Good. Hips back, remember get that big glute squeeze at the top. We'll shape the booty that way. Three, two, one excellent okay we're done with that we're moving on my friend sip of water we have dive bomber push-ups coming up six rounds let's get those out of the way here i might show from a straight on view today so you see that the feet are wide behind me hips are up near like downward dog driving under coming up driving back under again i'll show from the side a little modification option. We'll get going here in about 10 seconds, so let's get to the ground. Modification would be drive up, hips just go back up. You can also do it from the knees. Three, two, one. Let's go for it, my friends. We are on round one. Drive under. This is a lot of triceps. For me, I like to think about my hips. Drive my hips down. Driving from the hips. Really drive my palms through the ground to get leverage back. Not an easy exercise. We got round two coming up. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Hips up. In this round, I'll do that yoga push up just to show what that looks like. Hips go straight back up. And these are variations, different push up variations. Good, really just collapse the elbow a bit. Hey, let me come check it out, see how things are going. Three, two, one, let's go for it. Remember, we're on our tippy toes, hips are up in the air. It's, it sounds funny, but sometimes I think about, there's a fence right above, right above my head, 
I'm going under the fence, coming back under the fence. It's just a little visual to, to help your body stay in that same plane going under and back. That looks really good. Martina, fantastic. Those triceps are looking strong. Hey, Jane. Here we go. Hips up, driving under. It's also one you can kind of use the momentum of that movement down to drive yourself back up, depending on what position you're going through. Three, two, and relax. Good. That was round four. We got two more rounds here. Sticking with it. Staying strong again. If you need a variation, totally fine. This round, I'm going back to the yoga push up. So I'm driving under. Take my hips back up to start position. Stand tall on the tippy toes. Draw the belly button in. Five seconds. Let's get two more. I better get one more in. Excellent. That's round five. One more round. Finishing strong right here. Three, two, one. Again, on these upper body exercises, although we're working extremely hard, it doesn't mean that the heart rate's gonna get up super high and that's okay. We got a bunch of squats coming up. Ale, I think you can get deeper in that push up. Get down there, girl. Excellent, drive, drive, drive. Ah, I love it, I love it. That's awesome. All right, we're going back to the squat. We have the bear hug squat. Remember, we'll do the staggered stance with a heel up in the air. We got that in 30 seconds. Grab some water. Hey, at this time, let's just keep our feet moving. Keep the feet moving so that we can work to get back up in that orange zone. I'm gonna start with my right heel up. Bear hug squat. Bear hug across the chest. Regular squat stance. Slide the right foot back, the right heel up. Here we go. Deep squat, hips go back. I've got about, I don't know, 65 to 70% of my weight on my left leg. My whole foot's down on that. My right heel is up, showing from the side. Three, two, one. Remember, when we're holding an object in front, we want to fall forward. Force yourself to stay back. Left, left heel up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Left heel up. Really sit hips back. Remember, this is not a lunge. It's a squat. And my left foot is slid back just slightly to where my right heel and my left toe are in line. Three, two, one. Awesome. Come visit you real quick. See what's popping online. Three, two, and let's start to approach that that uh, orange zone. Ollie's getting crazy right now. All right, hey Jennifer, good to see you. Good, working to keep that chest up a little bit more as you go down into that squat. There you go. Good. Hi Linda. Good to see you there. Coming back with you. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. I'm coming with you, but I can still keep my eyes on you. Good, all right, Janet, let's see it. Good, make sure that heel and the toe are lined up. Like if there's a line that goes right across your heel, the toe wants to line up just right there with it. Good, stay with it. Three, two, one. Little breather there. How are we doing today, Maria? Ah, I love it. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can start to get, pop into that zone. Whew. Staying strong with it. This is round five of six. Round five of six. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Great opportunity to shape the glutes and relax. Good. Last round coming up. Let's stay strong. Nice deep breath. Feet are still moving. Good pace, good pace, good pace. Here we go. Squeeze. Whew. Remember, the heavier the object, form is more important for sure. 
So the heavier the object, the harder you gotta work, the higher your heart rate gets up. Squeeze, even if you're not getting as many reps. And relax, my friends. If you have a jump rope, grab it now. You don't have a jump rope, you're hanging out with me. In 30 seconds, we have a forward, forward, back, back. And when we're talking about the heart rate right now, I mean, mine's up. But because this next one is cardio, the goal is to get it up. So let's see how many people online can get in the orange. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, no big deal. Either get one or just get to that eight to 10. You know your body. Think about out of a 10 scale where 10 is like, I got nothing left. Let's get to an eight on this. That's sweat, that's not a tear. It might be a tear though. Here we go, three, two, one. Either jump rope, or if you're going with me, you've got in, in, out, out. Good, 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 good. Still got my band on my ankle, apparently. Good, 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 good. Going strong, five seconds. Three, two, and relax. Keep the feet moving though. Keep the feet moving. If you're with me, next one's gonna be forward, forward, back, back. Good, nice deep breath. Three, two, stay low, forward, forward, back. Keep the little arm swing going. 10 seconds. If it doesn't burn, get lower. Seven seconds. Again, we are going all out. Three, two, one. Excellent, a little break. Hey, just a little, little hint. If you are using a jump rope, the speed is in the forearms, okay? However fast your hands are moving, your forearms are going, that's how fast you're gonna be going. So if you're pretty good at jump rope, focus on how fast can I get my forearms and my wrists working. We are on forward, forward, back, back, okay? Or if we want, we can do a double Heisman. Just get something that goes. In my last class, I was going knees to chest, high knees. I almost got into that orange zone. All right, we got round four coming up. Someone come with me with some high knees right now. High knees, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Get the arms swinging. Good. Hey, something also, if you feel like you're going all out and your heart rate monitor is not getting you into the orange, talk to Brian after class because your numbers might be off, whether it's your max heart rate numbers. So he'll get that dialed in for you to where we get an accurate reading of where you're at so you don't feel like you're not working hard because you're not getting orange. Here we go, I promise you, you're working hard. Good, knees to chest, knees to chest. Round five. When in doubt, we just blame it on technology, all right? Five seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. We got one more round of that, one more round. And we can go forward, forward, back, back. If you want to double Heisman, if you want to do burpees, get your feet moving. I still predict that you go, good. Maria, get those uh, hands ear to pocket, ear to pocket with the hands. There you go. The faster your arms move, the faster your legs move. There you go, Ava. Good pace. Janet, no one's catching you today. There you go, Jen. Larry's got the jump rope. Larry is known for the jump rope. All right, my friends, that's six rounds. Fantastic. We're coming down for the renegade row. We'll be in a push-up position. Push-up position. We're gonna bring it. When we row, I'm actually gonna, we want wide feet, core is tight, wide feet, hips are in line with the body, they're not up in the air. And we're just gonna row 20 seconds per side. Push-up position right now in three, Two, so we're gonna wide feet. Three, two, one, good. I'm taking my left hand, driving my left elbow to my root cage. Okay, I'm really pushing hard into the ground with my right hand to stabilize my hips. We do not want the hips swaying or up in the air. Three, two, and relax. Good, if you have light weights, let's go for speed. Heavier weight. You're gonna feel it more in the core. You gotta really keep that tight form. Here we go. Left arm driving into the ground while we're pulling that right arm to chest. Again, if you want a little bit more difficult, 
You bring your feet closer together. Get in there, three, two, one. Good, come check on you real quick. Main thing again is that body in a push up position, just the feet are wider. Here we go, three, two, one. When the feet are wide, it is harder to squeeze the glutes, not impossible, but keep your body right in a straight line, belly button drawn in. There you go, Janet, looks fantastic. Stay with it, Linda, stay with it. Good. Little breather right there. Coming back down with you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Belly button's drawn in. Today, let's breathe in on the pull. As we pull up, let's breathe in. Ouch. Creates that air pocket in the stomach. Gives us more stabilization. Three, two, and relax. Ooh. Is anyone else raining on their mat right now? <laughs> Three, two, one. Here we go. Finish them strong. Again, going for speed. If you have light weights, you get more core engagement. If it's heavier, should be maybe at a 10 to 15 pound range right now. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, one more round. Let's finish strong. And then when in doubt, let's just at least stay in that push-up position. There you go, Larry's got the TRX, I love it. Ava, can you get your hips down just slightly? There you go, right there, stay right there. Martina, fantastic. Stay with it, Jane. Stay with it. Hey, we got Vicky on the screen. Excellent. Grab some water. Our last exercise before the finisher. We have the renegade. I'm sorry, renegade. We have the sprinters step up. You can grab a step, grab a solid chair. Yeah, and this one, we want our right foot planted on the platform. Right foot's planted on the platform. Tie your shoes. Okay, we're gonna drive straight up and then squeeze at the top. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Keep that right foot on. The second that foot hits the ground, just the, the ball of the foot, drive back up. Let's get a full glute squeeze at the top. So there should be a full pause at the top. Hey, my friends, in my last class, as a group, we got into the orange. Let's try to repeat that. Let's get into the orange this class. Again, if you don't have a heart rate monitor, that's okay. Let's switch feet, drive elbows and arms. Ready? Let's go for it. There you go, Mal. Good glute squeeze at the top. Mr. Robert, fantastic. Mike, what did I tell you about jumping on the furniture? <sighs> There you go, Sarah. Oh, feeling the hamstring. Good squeeze at the top. Excellent right there. All right, we got some, we got our first visitors to the orange zone here. I'm gonna put my screen up a little bit. Three, two, here we go. Let's go for it. Tap, squeeze at the top, squeeze. If you're not feeling that in the glute, as in that butt cheek, because of those squeezes, we're not getting a good glute squeeze. You need to drive up, should feel that in the quad and the glute on the same leg. Let's switch legs. Three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze at the top. Lots of power, like you're a sprinter, driving through the ground. Again, the goal should have you to have the whole foot on the platform. And then with the other foot, just getting the toes to the ground, driving back up. That's round four. We got five and six coming up. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Good power. Good. Squeeze the glute at the top. 
There you go, Julie. Good strong hold. Good balance. Good, Vicky. Three, two, one. There you go, Maria. Finish this last round strong. All right, my friends. Last round before we get to the finisher. Three, two, let's go for it. Squeeze. Squeeze. If you're on a higher step, when you come down, it's going to take a, a brief moment to kind of regain momentum to get back up. If you're on a smaller step, you should be going crazy for speed. Excellent work, my friends. That's six rounds. Let's clear some space. We have lateral shuffles for our finisher. I'm gonna rearrange the living room real quick. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, as we get into this finisher, it should be a really aggressive mindset for getting as high on the max heart rate as you can, okay? Aggressive mindset will transfer into aggressive performance. Here we go. Seven seconds. We're gonna be lateral shuffling across. Tap. If lateral shuffling's not happening, sprint forward and backwards. Here we go, we're on. Let's do this. Let's go two rounds where we're on the screen. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'll set my timer for a second. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, 10 seconds till go time. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. We're on. Here we go. Round two. Drive. I'm just on the ball of my foot. So the front of my foot. My toes are doing all the work. Staying low. There's a roof right over your head. Stay low throughout the movement. Come on. Let's go for it. Three, two, one. Okay. Keep your feet moving fast. Fast feet. Fast feet. This is less than two minutes to go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Stay low. Let's move. Again, use the ground. Use whatever you have to the best of your ability. And let's go. Five seconds. Stick with it. This is round two. End of round two coming up. Three, two, good. Excellent. Two rounds down. Two rounds down. Okay. As much as we can. All out, tap into that uncomfortable. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Here we go. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's only for 20 seconds at a time. Good, Larry, keep moving. Stay low, Larry, stay low throughout that movement. That's better. Good. There you go. Good job, Linda. Three, two. There you go, Rob. Oh, we're gonna do it as a group. Let's do it, let's do it. We're almost there. Again, if you don't have a heart rate monitor, that's fine. Get yourself to an eight to 10 scale. Three, two, one, let's go. This is fourth quarter. Anyway, basketball season. Fourth quarter, they're just as tired as you. So you give a little bit more effort, give yourself the best chance of getting there. There you go, Sarah, way to peek into that orange. I like it. Come on, Johnny. Me and you are lagging. There we go. Keep the feet moving. This is it right here, 20 seconds, this is it. Here we go, three, two, one, let's move. Stay low, stay low. Five seconds, you can do anything in the world for five seconds. Think about this, in 20 seconds we'll be laying on the ground, relaxing. Three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Wow, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's walk around for 15 seconds. Martina, there's something wrong with your heart rate monitor because I know you'd be working hard. You too, Sandra and Holly. I know it. You almost got disconnected. Good. Excellent work. Nice deep breaths. Walking around. Fantastic. Hey, wherever you're, wherever you're a mat or a grass patch, whatever you're using to grab that. Laying on down here. How we doing, my friends? Woo, that was good. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, come on down. 
hands next to the sides, feet right under glutes. Let's just stay in this relaxed bridge for 15 seconds, glutes semi-tight, driving hips up. Good. Slowly bring them down. Let's take 15, 30 seconds, just breathing in through the nose. Be aware of the heart rate. Breathing out through the mouth. Bringing that heart rate down nice and slowly back to a resting. Okay, let's go right knee to chest, working it in that hip joint. Glad to be with you here today. Thanks for joining the group. Let's put left, right knee, sorry, right ankle on left knee, pushing down on the right knee. And switch, so we'll bring left knee to chest, work it in that hip joint there. This is when your body is nice, loose and flexible. It's a great time to stretch to good end ranges of motion. You'll be more flexible at the end of a workout than the beginning because everything's warmed up. Left ankle, right knee pushing down on left knee. Little figure four stretch action. Good, and then let's go for a butterfly stretch. Come up to a seated position, nice and tall with the spine, tall spine. And Brian and I were discussing last night just some strategies for creating more community. Um, one thing that we really miss is in person you know, after or before while we're warming up or cooling down, like we could chat and just kind of hang out. And we, we miss that. We're trying to figure out ways to, let's go into a Hollywood stretch here, ways to make that happen. So reach out to Brian via email or Cheryl and just give them some ideas, whether that's a happy hour. I know that's, you know, not exactly the healthiest thing, but, um, you know, whatever it is, just a way to chat or, Hang out a couple minutes after and chat. I know that the world we live in is weird today, but we're just trying to figure out ways and would love some of your input. You know, we have a lot of intelligent, creative people out there. So, so let's go hands next to the chest. Flip it on over, driving chest off the ground, just allowing that back to settle, not squeezing anything. Now let's squeeze the glutes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on back down, we'll get another one of those. Drive up, allow the back to just kind of loosen. Now drive up and squeeze, not only the core, but the glutes. Good, sit the hips back, paw the hands into the carpet. And then let's finish with hips up in the air. Paw, paw the ground with the heels and walk the feet to the hands. Oh, how are we feeling, my friends? Pop a squat next to you for a second here. Good stuff. Hey, um, real quick, I was thinking about this word of the week, freedom. I share with my last class that uh, I was talking to my dad yesterday, and I was like, Dad, man, this COVID, it's really got me. It's put like 15 pounds on me. And I have blamed COVID for something that I did. COVID didn't do anything to me. It was me blaming something else. So I had the freedom to choose to blame it on somebody else or to take responsibility for my actions. So the reason that we want to take responsibility for our actions, can someone check they're not on mute? Uh, got some good tunes going, though. Uh, we need to take responsibility for our actions because if we keep pawning our stuff off on other people, we don't have a chance to evaluate where we're at realistically and to make changes to get back on course. So we can say, ah, oh, COVID did that to me. Oh, COVID did this or whatever. We can blame stuff or we can say, wait, pause. I put whatever I put in my system, I chose to do it. That's freedom of taking responsibility for our actions, okay? So if I blame everything on COVID, then it's never my fault. Yeah, it's our fault, okay? 
So you being here, you getting your workout on, that's you taking back charge. So my challenge to you today, get 1% better. 1% better with your health by making one better decision, whether it's not eating something you're not supposed to or eating something you're supposed to. Uh, like broccoli is really good. I'm going to have some broccoli at some point today. Um, so, so I'm working on I'm this working just at- as much as anybody else. Um, so have a wonderful, wonderful day. Brian will be teaching for me on Friday. I'll be out in Michigan with my fiance. So have a wonderful day. Let's get freedom on three. Freedom on three. Feel free to unmute. Three, two, one. Freedom. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Much love, everybody.